Hello, in the following video we are going to be seeing how to use multiple accounts from within a single instance of Shopify CLI. So despite Shopify giving you the ability to access multiple stores from within a single account, sometimes you may need to use multiple accounts. So for example, you may need to use one at work that has your work email and such, and then a different one when you are working independently, perhaps with clients of your own, or when building apps that you will publish yourself in the App Store or Themes for that matter. However, in this current version, Shopify CLI doesn't appear to support multiple accounts, so oftentimes you have to log in and out of an account depending on the project you are working on, which can be annoying and can be a bit time consuming. But there is a workaround for that. If you've ever logged into the CLI, you can see that it appears to store your session somewhere because after you authenticate initially, you no longer have to do so unless you log out. So taking advantage of that, if we can find where that authentication is stored locally, we can authenticate into as many accounts as we need to and just rename the files depending on the project you are currently working on. Or if you do this often enough, often enough you can even create a CLI script that can handle that for you. So currently on macOS, so the system paths I'll be showing are based on that, but on other operating systems the process will be most likely the same. You'll just need to find the folder that we'll see where the Shopify CLI stores this information and then you can follow this tutorial as I'll show you in this video. Okay, so I'm within my console here in the home directory and now I'm going to cd into library preferences and then Shopify CLI keep node.js I'm going to open this with finder and here we will see that there is a config.json file I'm not going to open it because it has my credentials, but here is an example of what you will be finding in there. So there is a session store key that has a stringify JSON with a lot of tokens and things like that. This is where your session is stored, as the name suggests. And then there is a cache key that has this information. I don't think it does that much, but this timestamp should be reflected on when this file was last created. Anyways, the setup we will be doing in this example is to stores. So here I have dev store 2023.8.1 and then here I have dev store 2023.8.2. Each one of them is in a different account and I'm going to be doing the team development for each one of them by showing you how I can quickly switch account between them. So here I have this store one folder, which is pointing to the first store and then this store2 folder, which is pointing to the second store. So let's see how we can handle this. I right, that this is working. Initially, I'm logged into the store1. So let's go into the console for the store1 and let's run Shopify, theme pool, and the environment, let's set it to development, which will tell it to pull from here. It tells me that there are no files in this directory, as expected, because it just has the config file. I'll tell it to pull, and then let's pull the live theme. It will take a while, so I'll come back in a second once this is done. Okay, so this finished pulling. I found Shopify theme dev initially, so it can sync all the files. And once I run it now, it doesn't take that long to run. So let's run it again, and let's see what store do we get. So this is applying for the store one, as we can see. And we can see that if I preview this, I get this store. And if I go to localhost 9292, I get this store. So it is pretty much the same. As expected, because I'm connected to the store one. And now, how do we verify that this is actually using this token? Well, if I rename this to dash config the JSON, the JSON Shopify CLI doesn't know that that file has the credentials to access this so if I try running this command again it will ask me to log in which I'll do I log in and it is doing the process once again if I refresh this I get my store, and if I go here, we can see that another config.json file was just created, 
and we can see that they both have pretty much the same size because their content is pretty much the same probably they just refresh the better or something like that so now if we go to the second store and I put this team.tom file here we can see that it is pointing effectively to the second store and if I run Shopify Timple and I specify the environment to be development we can see that I get this error because I'm not authorized to see this store which is expected because I'm not logged into this second account that I have so let's solve for that okay so what I'll do is that I'll close this and then this old config I'll delete it and let's name this config.1 so now if I try to pull it won't detect that there is an existing config file so it will ask me to log in once again let's wait for it to give me the link because if I open this it will open it in the default browser tab okay here we have the link so let me copy this and let's go into here let's paste this and now I'm logged into the second account so I'm able to pull this it tells me the same that this is not a thin directory which is expected because it is empty and now let's pull all of this and I'll come back in a second okay so we finished cloning the second store now we have it running locally so let's go over here let's go to localhost 9292 we can see that it is the second store and if I preview the live theme here it is as expected the same that I have locally now likewise if, if I try to run the first store we can see that it doesn't let me run it anymore because the token that I have in config here corresponds to the second store so let's exit this and I'll rename this to config2.json and now let me duplicate the first JSON let's remove all of this if I run this command now I'll be able to see my first store so let's go to the browser let's put the password here and this is the first store you can see here and now if I remove this and I duplicate the second one I delete all of this and I close this and try to run the second store I and I refresh this page once this finish syncing It asked me for the password, I put it, and we have the second store running here without having to go to the logging out and logging in between them. So that's about it. If you have multiple stores, you can just have as many JSONs as the stores that you have. So that's about it about this technique. It is quite simple once you understand where the files are being saved and what Shopify CLI is doing but it still can save you quite a bit of time if you are constantly switching between accounts or if you do it just a few times a day it still can be quite handy to understand how this works also a little trick is that you can drag this folder here to the sidebar so you can quickly access this and change the name of the files as you need to and as i mentioned if you have many more accounts than just two which that could be a reason why you do you could also create a CLI script to ask you which which store or which account you want to work on and it renames these JSONs uh, accordingly. So that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.